is that the more I can make my team's life easier, the easier my life is. Right. And, and sometimes, see, I, I hire these technical people who are skilled, but then they can't tell me yeah. a problem or they don't want, they won't let you, mm. uh, they won't let you know uh, like what, what issues they've come and run into. So there's, it, it needs to be. Yeah. The, there's a, there's a weird reason for that, that I've seen and I can't, I, I can't provide an exact answer as to why that happens, but I've seen the way to correct it is to take ownership of every single problem that comes up in the sense that if something is being done incorrectly, I say to my team, I'm so sorry that that happened inside the process. Mm -hmm. Let me update it for you. Thank you for letting me know. Is there anything else you need? Right. Mm -hmm. As opposed to saying, oh, that's wrong. Here was how it should have been done. Right. So there's sort of there's sort of a few key phrases there. The first is, you know, I'm sorry that happened because of, because of the work that I did. Um, I will now correct that for you. Thank you. And what else do you need? Like that's a whole different frame of mind as to, you know, like, Oh, you know, like that's wrong. Let me redo it for you. Although that's not that threatening, but like, it's not that empowering and that sort of encouraging right, as well. And oh. And the more I've seen myself use that over the years on my team, I mean, my team's happy to bring me problems, you know, and anything that goes wrong, right? <clears throat> okay. So just to learn a little more about myself. So that particular skill is one I need to work on. And so I'm trying to learn what you're saying because I'm, I'm so analytical that I, I don't stop. I like, okay, that was wrong. And I, I'm just too matter of fact. Mm. And so uh, that's one area I, I improve because I, I, I agree with what you're saying. Implementing it is harder to do for me. <laughs> yeah. So there's two ways that can help out. The first is that only communicating via your team portal. Now, what this forces you to do is that it forces you to type things out. And when you type things out, you tend to have to think about, right? So I found that really helpful for myself in terms of typing. It forces me to formulate like, what, what, what am I trying to explain here? That's the first thing. Um, and the other thing, which is more of just something to be conscious of, is that the problem rarely is the problem. Usually it is caused by something upstream. So it's our mm-hmm. duty to find what that is correct and and then and then essentially clear the path for for our actual team as well right and what i like to keep in the front of my mind is that i'm is that the more i can make my team's life easier the easier my life is right so that's mm-hmm. and that just feeds into each other again and again um so in knowing those three things in knowing that the more I type things out, the more I'm forced to think before I type. So therefore, hopefully I'm thinking about the right things. And then knowing that the problem is very rarely the problem allows me to look for, okay, well, what sort of caused that for that team member? Um, and, you know, usually it's something that I didn't explain properly or something that I may have assumed, right, which comes down to my own fault. And then knowing that if I can solve this for them and make their life easier, in turn, that might our own life easier as well. Yeah. Okay. Completely agree. It is just comes so- some practice more than <laughs> more than anything else, Brian. Like the more that you help your team, the more you, that, that then you'll see them be positive about bringing problems to you, and then the more problems mm-hmm. that then you solve, the easier things get. So it's just this positive feedback loop that has to unfortunately start with something going wrong, which, you know, which <laughs> right. like kind of sounds counterintuitive, but in, in order for things to improve, they have to break first, which kind of is not what we want in our companies. But if we can allow them to break and then find the problem and then fix that 
break point, it shouldn't happen ever again. Uh-huh. <clears throat> well, I like how you, well, when you divide up the different tasks, that break point is smaller and less critical. Yes. It so is, you can do that more often. Yes, it is so much more easier to update a single task. So, you know, usually companies might, you know, have a long drawn out process with 20 steps, right? And then if something goes wrong in this, then I have to review that entire process, you know, which could take two, three, or even four days. What our approach is in terms of engineering a production line for any industry is that we want to try to break this up into maybe five steps per sort of process, right? So that we know, okay, well, if something breaks down, you know, in step maybe, you know, 12, then it's, you know, probably inside here, right? So that's easier to then correct and pass it to actually update as opposed to updating this mm-hmm. whole thing up here as well. Um, and it also allows you, if you want to get really quick scale, it also allows you to have uh, in individual team members only handling those processes, right? So this allows you to run this process um, all at once as opposed to having one team member do every single step, right, as well. Um, uh, I, I definitely think that's my goal is to like break up this, this rather large report into different components that different team members can handle. And, about, and not one key team member, and I find re- review the very end. Yes. Think of it like you're designing an engine whereby the more pistons you have, the more you can pull from a company point of view. And mm-hmm. for you to maintain a higher speed, everyone's just humming along at, you know, 20, 30%, right? I mean, for us, we've got a team of 16, and everyone's probably on like, 25 hours a week on average right you know like no one's overworked there's no need for us to have that many people but it makes their life easier they're not at capacity and if we get a sudden influx it's very easy to to then kind of scale up that as opposed to have everyone at capacity first and then bring on someone else right yeah so we are definitely you like i said we had a larger team our team is small so in